just as I'm about to make my 29k you know review of driving a Tesla for that many miles an interesting thing happens to me my 12 volt battery pops up on the dash says it needs to be replaced soon and there you know that's that's a, that's normal that's totally expected and the interesting thing is shortly right afterwards I am having a trouble opening the Falcon wing doors because the sensor on the roof is getting a ghost phantom you know obstacle awareness and it's kind of getting a trouble where one of my falcon wing doors I can't even override to open and the other one you know partially open and then you have to you know by holding the button for them to go all the way up and you know a little bit of an inconvenience but my service rep from Coral Gables Nick you know shout out to you best uh, service uh, rep out there he uh, messaged me saying if I was in town I can stop in unfortunately today I'm in West Palm so not close enough to be able to do it but Monday mobile service tech uh, he's gonna send out to get the 12 volt battery replaced and to check out what's up with the sensor if it is a mechanical issue that's gonna be replaced if not maybe some kind of a software um, issue that they can adjust but I did run through all the reboots with the Tesla roadside already even did a hard reboot where I powered off the system for three minutes and then restarted and it seems to still have you know the issue continue happening so the issue totally got resolved it was pretty straightforward I actually ended up going to the service center the mobile was gonna take a little bit uh, awkward timing for me so I decided to just pop in my service rep Nick um, was able to squeeze me in on on a morning and I totally got everything fixed came in they immediately disassembled the frunk to be able to install the battery apparently you have gotta pull the frunk out that's where the battery is hidden and they replaced that part and once everything got put back together the sensors resolved their own their problem they were no longer a fault all the doors were opening properly and the car didn't have the 12 volt battery issue any longer so it was really straightforward the only little drawback to it is with the Tesla's new warranty system um, how they no longer require services and it's now it's only as as needed the battery we had to actually pay out of pocket for which ended up costing us $240 so it broke down $167 for the actual battery $75 for the labor and that brought us to a hundred and uh, no $240 uh, before taxes and then after taxes you get you know that cost and it's not that bad I mean considering that there's no maintenance and uh, fuel costs that are so great on this car didn't seem like it was too much of a problem and doing a little bit of research online seems like these batteries are notorious uh, for failing between 12 to 16 months and looking back that this vehicle that I have is from April 2017 meaning it's been two years since the battery uh, you know been installed and now you know died and that's gonna make me want to keep my fingers crossed and hope that it'll be another two years before I have to deal with this issue again but we can only wait and see glad to have that resolved and hope uh, to give everybody some information on this